Raider Nation, it's your boy, Graphic Raider, back with another quick video, the views expressed here, Graphic Podcast. Welcome to the Black Hole of Raiders YouTube, y'all. Let's get straight to it, man. I'm going to start this off by saying, R.I.P., George Floyd. Um, yesterday, I felt like a tiny bit of humanity was restored with the guilty verdict. I hope you burn in hell, boy. And this is to the policeman. I hope you burn in hell, motherfucker. But we're all here, man, to talk about Mark Davis's statement. Uh, at first, everyone thought, you know, it was the Raiders social media department that dropped the um, I can breathe statement on Twitter. Um, I love that Mark Davis came out and said, that was me. I approve that. That is no one else's uh, fault but mine. Um, he basically said that, you know, he was just basically relaying the message that George Floyd's brother uh, said, you know, that we can finally breathe again. Um, the problem I have with that, Mark, is you should have just said what he said word for word. Um, you kind of took his statement and made it yours. And there was just too many things that you could take from that. I mean, let's be honest. Months ago, NYPD policemen were running around with I can breathe shirts. Um so that's strike one. Doesn't look good. Um, I can breathe. It's 420. Y'all know this is the weed holiday. It kind of sounds kind of like a, you know, a joke. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Um, but Mark Davis is a good guy. And we all know he comes from Al Davis's. Look, look that, that's Al Davis's son right there, man. Al Davis has done so much. That's one owner for sure, man, that. No one can ever question him, you know, being racially driven in a negative fashion anywhere. Like, he, you know, the first guy to, you know, sign an African-American coach, a woman, um, a Latin American head coach. Look, I know that Mark meant no harm by that. It just came off very distasteful because of, you know, yesterday we're all celebrating this, man. We're all celebrating the guilty verdict. We should have just left it there. Um, and the tweet just came out at the totally wrong time. The wording was terrible. Yes, I understand where you were coming from, Mark. And I love that you took full responsibility for it. The only thing I don't understand is why it was still up. I think it's still up right now. Um, you said the only way you'll take it down is if his family says that they are hurt by that. Um, that's not a good look, man. At the end of the day, if, if if the world is going so crazy about it right now, just take it down. Look, man, we're going into OTA soon. You know, we don't need our players answering these questions right now. They have a lot. We have a lot going on in the world right now. And our team needs to focus on their families first, God first, and focus on getting on the same page when it comes to football. They should not be answering questions outside of that, uh, especially with something like this. We all know this world is fucked up, man. It really is. We're losing our innocent black brothers and black sisters left and right um, to, to dirty, crook, crooked police officers. But just take the tweet down, man. Make, make, make it easier, man, and just take it down. I mean, don't get me wrong. The damage has already been done. I know we live also in a more sensitive era today. But this situation... I look at both sides and I say, you're both right. Oh, you're too sensitive. Whoop, whoop. Or your so-called R sensitive. Just take it down, man. Take it down, man. R.I.P. to George Floyd. That's what we should be doing. We should be celebrating. There shouldn't be any questioning anybody's tweets and all the other shit. Let's just celebrate the guilty verdict, man. And let's just go from there. Focus on football right now. I, this is why I don't do politics, y'all. I don't even want to do this video. But to be honest with you, Everybody keeps asking me my opinion on it, and I'm going live with Kenny King tonight. I really don't want to talk too much about it. I'm just going to say this. Our system finally got it right yesterday. Let's celebrate that. A tiny, tiny piece of humanity was restored yesterday, but we have a lot of work to be done. There's A little girl was just killed by another policeman yesterday. It happens every day. We are nowhere near where we need to be with fixing this shit, man. So a I can breathe post, it just wasn't the timing of it, just the, just the wording of it. I felt it was just, 
you, you know what I mean? You you run a billion dollar company, brother. You you have to you have to look at things and say, you know what? Everything has to be properly put out and that wasn't properly put out. It's your boy Graphic Raider. The views expressed here are Graphic Podcast. Shout out to the nation. I love my brothers and sisters. Shout out to George Floyd's family for finally getting some justice yesterday. And one more time, RIP man to George Floyd. I love y'all nation. One.